Now it's time to begin our meeting, please. Please, you can take a seat. We'll call the meeting to order. At this time, I'd ask that you stand, and we will have an uh, invocation led, followed by the pledge. This time, Master Chief Hayden, you can lead our invocation, please. Heavenly Father, we come to you today asking that you place your hand upon this board, this mayor and these commissioners. We ask that the decisions that they make tonight help the city. Uh, we pray for the citizens of this town. We pray for the employees of the city. And we pray that you look upon us and you bless us each day. In the Son's most heavenly name. Amen. Commissioner Davis will lead us in pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you very much. <coughs> At this time, I'll ask the court to have the roll call, please. Mr. Mary? Mr. Davis? Here. Mr. Davis? Present. Mr. Blankenship? Here. Mr. White? Here. All present. Thank you. We have all present. This time we're going to item four, approval, correction of the minutes from the prior meetings. Any discussion about these? Questions? I saw no changes, Mayor. I'll make a motion to approve. Motion been made to approve this. Second. Just second. Duly seconded. All in favor signify by saying aye. I have to have it to move. Minutes are approved. That presents. Item 5 awards presentations. Mount Pleasant High School cheerleaders. Presentation. And Mayor, there are a few that are going to speak, and each of you have on, in front of you kind of the letter that's gone out to all of our local businesses, including the city and sponsorship level. But it's, and they're going to be very brief, but this, and they have to leave from here to go to a game. So they're not being rude, they just have to go to a game. That's all people already over there. <laughs> yes, so however you want um, this to go, you, you guys have the floor. We are the 2017-2018 MPHS cheerleaders. We are composed of three seniors, six juniors, three sophomores, and four freshmen. We are here to tell you about our accomplishments we have made in the past couple months and ask for your help. In order to receive a bid to the Universal Cheer Association Nationals, you have to have attended a varsity cheer camp over the summer and received the squat credentialing program as well as compete and score over 70% of the possible points. The first time this year the MPHS cheerleaders competed, we received a bid to UCA Nationals. The UCA National Championships are held in Walt Disney World, and it is a competition between all high school cheerleaders who qualify from all over the United States. This is the first team a, from Mount Pleasant High School to have ever qualified. The town and the community support means the world to us. Thank you. This is also the first time Mount Pleasant High School has ever had a team make it to UCA Nationals. And it's the first time in over 20 years a team from Murray County has qualified. Being a UCA National Finalist is one of the most prestigious titles a high school cheerleader can have second only to being a Nationals champion. That is, of course, what we were shooting for, but until then, we are overjoyed by our current title. We are also only the second organization from the Mount Pleasant campus to put us on the national competitive level. We, again, are more than thrilled to have done this, not only for ourselves to have put us on the map, but also to put Mount Pleasant on the map, as it should be. Lastly, this is an, import an important accomplishment to us because it has been the dream of every single one of the 16 girls that you see in front of you, as well as that of our parents and our coach. For some of us, it will be the most important moment of our high school careers, and we thank you for letting us share it with you. It was an incredible honor for our team to earn a bid to nationals and to play second overall in the UCA North Alabama Regionals. 
This would not have been possible without, without the hard work and dedication of each and every one of these girls standing by me today. To be able to represent our beautiful small town of Mount Pleasant at nationals and possibly win the national title would be a huge accomplishment to each and every one of us. As a team, since the beginning, this has been our goal. And we have been working to get a bid to nationals at Disney. And for the first time ever, Mount Pleasant High School cheerleaders had the opportunity to experience this. We, all, we have all been working extremely hard for this school. We have all made many sacrifices to be on this team, and it would mean a lot for us if we would get to experience this. And that is why we need your help. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question. Uh, are you, uh, well, questions, 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 questions,
I Scott Beach. I Scott Beach. Do hereby swear. Do hereby swear. That I have all the qualifications. That I have all the qualifications. Named in the charter of the city of Mount Pleasant. Named in the charter of the city of Mount Pleasant. For the office of a member. For the office of a member. Of the police department. Of the police department. Of the city of Mount Pleasant. Of the city of Mount Pleasant. Which I'm about to assume. Which I'm about to assume. That I will support the Constitution. That I will support the Constitution. Of the United States. Of the United States. And of the state of Tennessee. And of the state of Tennessee. That I will comply with. That I will comply with. And observe the provisions. And observe the provisions. Of the charter of the city of Mount Pleasant. Of the charter of the city of Mount Pleasant. And the ordinances of the city of Mount Pleasant. And the ordinances of the city of Mount Pleasant. And I will faithfully perform. And I will faithfully perform. The duties of my office. The duties of my office. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Officer Beach has been with us about two weeks and he's scheduled to go to the academy January 7th. Does he want a picture with his mom? Yeah. 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 By the way, we did ask if he had the blessing of his mother. We did ask several times. I was told that. Yeah. Yeah. Several, several if he had the blessing of his mother to oh, take yeah. You got plenty of pictures. Thank you. I think I took about six or seven or ten. About five. <laughs> 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 okay, you did the same <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I think mom needs to give us some photography lessons. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Congratulations. <coughs> Congratulations, and we move on into item six. Uh, Unfinished business for prior meeting or review. Ordinance 2017 1011, public hearing and final reading. An ordinance to amend Title 8, Chapter 1 and 2 of the Mount Pleasant Municipal Code relating to intoxicating liquor and beer. Mayor and Commissioners, there's uh, four changes, and I want to make sure I go over all of them. This changes the distance from a church to 250 feet. It is measured in a straight line. It is off premises only. And we did remove the uh, language of government building, even though you had already passed that previously. There was just one area where government building wasn't caught. So those are the four changes that I believe you're all aware of. And it's up for this is actually a public hearing if there's anybody here to, com to comment and for final reading. <coughs> is there anyone in the audience who's here to speak for or against this? Proposed ordinance change. And let the record show that no one was present. Speak for or against, please. Okay, is there discussion on this particular ordinance? Questions? Discussion? I'll make a motion that we uh, approve ordinance 2017. Okay, the motion has been made for approval by Commissioner White. Is there a second? I'll second it. Julie seconded. Further discussion? Okay. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Motion passes. Okay. <coughs> Item B, Ordinance 2017-1012, public hearing slash final reading, an ordinance to amend Title V, Chapter 6 of the Municipal Code of the City of Mount Pleasant, Tennessee, Dealing with purchasing, repeating the existing Chapter 6, and adopting new Chapter 6, updating the purchasing rules, regulations, and procedures. Mayor, Commissioners, uh, this also is a public hearing up for a second reading, final reading, and the, the, the largest change, we went over it in a little bit of detail the other day, but the largest change is we are allowing um, any purchasing that involves real property, actual buildings or land, to meet the state requirement of $25,000. We're keeping, even though we could increase it, the personal property at $10,000. And um, we get very specific in the ordinances when we require verbal bids, written bids, et cetera. And um, 
is what we re recommend to move forward. The last time this ordinance was changed was in 2010. Any questions on this particular ordinance? This is public hearing. Does anyone in this audience here to speak for or against this particular ordinance? The record show no one is here to oppose or to support. Okay, any further questions? Chair, let me take a motion, please. Make a motion that we approve as presented. Motion been made to approve. Is there a second that motion? Second. Seconded. Further discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed like sign. Ordinance has passed. Item C, Ordinance 2017-1013, public hearing slash final reading, an ordinance of the City of Mount Pleasant, Tennessee, amending Title IV, Chapter 6 of the Mount Pleasant Municipal Code, regular travel rules, regulations, and procedures. Mayor and Commissioners, we discussed this also at the study session. This is also a public hearing final reading. Um, the last time this was updated was 1992. Uh, we did update it when we um, updated our employee handbook that you passed uh, this past summer and it basically sets all of our travel rules, regulations, and procedures in uh, we're following the state rules for, for, for everything. So it's already in the employee manual and now this is a separate, since it was passed by ordinance in 1992, we're passing it by ordinance again. Okay. It's parallel to? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Is there further discussions or questions? Not the chair will entertain a motion. Make a motion to approve this presented. Did you make a motion to approve this ordinance? A second? Did you did second it? Further discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Motion has passed. Item D, Ordinance 2017-1014, Public Hearing Slash Final Reading, an ordinance to amend Title 16 of the Mount Pleasant Municipal Code relating to mass gathering and special events. Mayor and Commissioners, uh, this is an ordinance, uh, as far as special events, we have already passed um, language through the Community Center ordinance that we require permits for special events, but we want to have that set in an ordinance for mass gathering and special events. We we, we define mass gathering as 250 people <coughs> or above. We are requiring permits for anything over two people, just so we're aware of it. But this puts <coughs> into place exactly what's required of the person wanting to have the gathering or a special event, and it gets staff involved at every level they need to to make sure we understand what these gatherings are. And this is also a public hearing uh, final reading. Okay. Um. Oh, I, I, and also this is a, an outside event or an inside event within a municipal building. That's, I think that came up on at the study session as well. All right. That's public reading. Is anyone <coughs> present to see? speak in support or opposition to this ordinance. Record show no one is present. Further discussion? Chair will entertain a motion, please. So moved. So moved. Adoption is second. Second. Duly seconded. Further discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Over the last time that motion is also passed. Good evening. The um, auditors have completed their field work. So we have uh, scheduled to present their findings next next month at the December board meeting. Uh, we're also in the process of hiring that part-time person to uh, finish the scanning, and we're also going to have them assist us in conducting a uh, study of the sewer and sanitation buildings, buildings 
we it has come to our attention that um, there are some uh, areas where the uh, sanitation. I know a few years some tobacco that you had passed an ordinance that said that if you were, had the water, then you had to pay the sanitation. And at some point, some customers in the past had did not fall under that rule. And so when they did that ordinance, it was actually so remember they only adopted yeah. the policy, and we really feel like it needs to be an ordinance. Remember, yeah. right? Yeah. So we're trying to well follow through on that, and we'll actually be conducting audits to make sure that we are billing the correct amount um, to our customers, uh, specifically in the sewer and sanitation. So, uh, we will be working on that and um, starting that probably around the first of the year, maybe February. So we'll be. Uh, working on that, and we will keep you uh, informed as how that is going and uh, what the results are that we find. Uh, we just re also received our engagement letter to do the cost of service study on the gas department. They had uh, Jackson Thornton is the, the same firm that did the uh, the water will be doing the gas. However, they postponed it until after they got the uh, auditor uh, presented their the 2016-17 uh, audit. Um, they which is said next month. Which is next month. They felt that by um, by waiting that the numbers would be better. Otherwise, the numbers would already be a year old. Mm -hmm. And so they felt they'd get better better results by waiting. Uh, since it wasn't but a couple of months, they chose to do that. Um, also, you'll notice in your packets you have an additional report um, in the interest of transparency and not at the uh, auditor's uh, request but I felt that it would be a good thing to give you the information of any time we make journal entries um, that way you have somebody another that way you get to see all my errors <laughs> And you get to see when I correct the corrections of the corrections. I think so it's a good idea. Yeah, it 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 just brings everything the way you see everything we do, and I just think it's a good thing. Uh, like I said, it, you get to see everything good and bad, <laughs> and uh, our cash balances for the for the month. Uh, remain steady. The general fund balance totaled 1.5 million, a little over 5, 1.5. The water <coughs> operating has rebounded some. It's now uh, about 927,000. The gas fund, uh, which includes all their checking, savings, city balances, uh, but excluding the customer deposit account uh, balance, uh, totals to 2 million 400,000. Um, so we're right on target where we should be for the month. Uh, again, the water is, the water sewers um, struggling with their, all the repairs and but they're at this point they are meeting those and meeting all their obligations. And so that concludes my report. Does anybody have any questions? I, I, one I, I guess I have. Okay, I guess <coughs> when they're looking at the sewer or whatever, they can <coughs> sewer. Are they going to have to tie in the sewer if they're not on it? I mean, providing the state. I mean, if the sewer runs to their house. Or the way the current ordinance is written, if you're not on sewer and sewer is available, you you're paying you're for paying it, whether you decide to tie in or not. To, okay. That won't change. That won't change. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. We're just making sure that we are following yeah. those things yeah. that have that you've adopted. I think you were aware that we found people that were on sewer that we hadn't been charging. Well, we found people that were charging that aren't on and sewer's not available. So we want to make sure we audit those and the billing is correct. Okay. That's our goal. Okay, you've heard the report. Is there a motion to accept, please? Motion. Uh, I'll second. <laughs> motion been duly made. Seconded. Any further discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Uh -huh. Like sign that but our financial budget board is accepted. Item eight, month report for city manager.
Uh, Mayor and Commissioners, I take the reports that I get from all the departments and I create the State of the City report and that's available the first of the month uh, online and in hard copies here at City Hall. So that's what we're working on now. Any questions to the manager? I'd just like to congratulate and report the fire department, I mean the police department, it was in the paper too, was that there? Mm -hmm. um, the their answer the uh, Susan yeah. Common. Common. Uh -huh. $2,000 or something? $2,005, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Congratulations. Uh, where are our department heads tonight? Do you know? Do they have to if they don't need to be here, I don't ask them to come. Okay. Yeah, so so if they don't have anything on the agenda. Now, Philip, who's yeah. always here, yeah. uh, uh, several had gone through classes and gotten um, certificates, and they're giving those certificates out in home walls. So he may walk in in a few minutes, but that's where he is. Okay. <laughs> Item 9, <laughs> special reports from other city departments or committees if applicable. We, have other reports. we do not have a wastewater liaison report uh, except that we're all just waiting on pins and needles to get funded through USDA and we do not have a Mount Pleasant gas system report. Okay. Mayor, I'm just I'm let the rest of you know too, we've had several, I've had several phone calls to my house and I've been in touch with Kate about the odor from the um, Cap and the lagoon has been horrendous. The monofill, yeah. Mm -hmm. the, the the land, the monofill, and that, and the fire department has been, been out there with their monitor on it. It is not smog. It has been smoke from there and odor from there. But I think it's because of the pressure that we've had. But we haven't had any violations of, of reading. So we're just monitoring it, so we'll keep it track of it. in case you get any calls from it, too, because I've gotten several, but it, it's been eye-burning. I generally call them. Okay. <laughs> well, it's, I call them, I call them, too, but I've had phone calls to my house. I generally call them. Oh, okay. Well, the reason why we haven't, because Brian asked me to call the plant, though, but to, to so that we can have a city record of it too. Yeah, they can correct it, but we'd like to have as a city a record of it too to, to make sure and back up so that we don't get accused of, of them saying, oh well, they're doing enough. No, we're having a record of it too and they are within their the, 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 um, the, the safety zones of it so that they know we are monitoring it too. But it, it's been a random slightly, but they, they've been on top of it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, item 10. New business, A, Ordinance 2017-1015, first reading, an ordinance amending Title I, Chapter 1, Section 1-102, Order of Business, of the Municipal Code of Adopting New Title I, Chapter 1, Section 1-102, which adds a section for a mayor's report to the agenda for the regular monthly meeting of the Mount Pleasant Board Committee. All that for about, <laughs> two, all that for about two minutes of a report out <laughs> And I explained to you at the, at the meeting, uh, I think it's a protocol procedure that the mayor be allowed to have a section on there uh, to make any kind of report that he, chooses, he or she chooses to have. It, most times there will be nothing. There may be something that's not a <coughs> recordable type thing I want to discuss. Just a general information thing. It's just a, I say it's a type of protocol and I do appreciate the opportunity to get this on the agenda. And at this time I would ask for any other discussion. If not, I'll share with anything in motion. I'll second that. I think it's a good idea. You see a lot of corps that have that. It's whoever the operating manager is that can make that kind of comments, and it's always come from and because the somebody that's in there every day, and it's a good thing. Yeah. And the agenda is set by ordinance to make any changes either way. Yeah, you got to yeah, pass them right. again. Most of this time, this is done strictly by, you know, I've never heard it have such a clue. The city and the county is all different. So. Mm -hmm. I'll be out of here for I'll get used to it. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Chair, at this time, we'll call, call for vote, please. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Motion is passed, please. You know we have writings, too. See, item B, resolution 2017 34, resolution <coughs> revising and replacing the city of Mount Pleasant's policy established in resolution 2017 27 that no person shall be appointed to sit on any municipal <coughs> board or commission if such person owes money to the city of Mount Pleasant or any of its departments. It's Mayor, and it's Mayor and Commissioners, um, as you know, this is something that you passed previously. 
but we wanted to make sure that we included the language with the state process to remove somebody from a board and that we followed that process and we've added that language to this resolution. I will interject just a little bit into this for the call that I had received and it wasn't a complaint, it was merely a something that would probably help this board city stay out of a possible uh, lawsuit and we're simply putting in there that you will follow state law if, it, if there's someone has to be removed according to that first and then fall back to this after follow state. But most of the lot state boards, state uh, documented boards through the TCA, they have certain removal uh, procedures. So then we'll buckle when you look at something else. So yeah, that, that's why this is here. Uh, any other discussion? Okay, the chair will entertain a motion, please. So moved. So move for adoption. Second. Second. Do the second for further discussion. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. That motion is also passed. All this is passed. Excuse me. Okay. General comments from citizens. Do we have anybody signed up? No, sir. Nobody signed up. Thanksgiving season. I want to congratulate the people here that participated in providing such a wonderful meal for the city employees last week and, and get the senior citizens. Mm -hmm. see some of our senior citizens there. I see one that's looking, but she even look at it. <laughs> <laughs> you enjoyed it, didn't you? The, the meal sure. the other day. Sure. Wasn't that good? Yeah. Yeah, we will. We'll, 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 we'll be glad to have that many seniors over there, too. That was really good. I think they enjoy it too. That's good. Those are good things to have. Uh, public relations are hard to build sometimes. And it's really good that y'all did that. And I appreciate it very much. I know you worked hard. Good cooking. All I did was eat. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything else any commissioners have at this time? Anything you want to say? Nick, do you want to bring up anything about Arrow Lake since we've had so many questions? About what? Arrow Lake, since we've had so many questions, I'm glad to speak on it. Or I got ran off this mm -hmm. Let me just say this. All questions are to now to be referred to representative of this company all on behalf of Mount Pleasant or any of you call that have worked for the city or you don't make anything. There's a public relations gentleman that works for Santa Fe for this organization. They're in the process of taking that level down to look at the sludge. And it's they want to improve that lake. They want to make it something really nice for citizens of Mount Pleasant. They're not planning on closing that lake. And they found some they found some things thrown in the lake. <laughs> you know, then what else they find? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, that's what it's for. It's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. And they spend uh, they spending money to, to I improve this with Susan Mount Pleasant. It's going to be good, and I don't know how he got such a negative connotation when Channel 2 and other people started calling about it. I mean, it wasn't like it, you know. Oh, this is recent? Today. 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 Yeah, today. Yeah, today. Oh, goodness. <coughs> but the Carol was calling. I don't know. Are they going to do a story on anything? Uh, they may, but I mean, it's important to yeah, know that it's. It's, it's being lower. Right. It's private sector, <laughs> and it's not in the city. Yeah. I don't you know. Don't, I guess I say that. Don't ever make any. Don't ever make a mistake of making any comment on behalf of the city. Yeah, or the county. Or the county. Yeah. With. Uh, now, generally, someone. This is private enterprise. Mm -hmm. They're strictly private enterprise. They own it. We don't. Uh, and they'll do with what they please. So. Okay. Uh, anything, nothing else. We have this Saturday. Smut uh, shops small oh, in yeah. Mount Pleasant. So if you would, and there are refreshments at all. Shop small. Um, the national campaign sponsored by FedEx. Shop small. Oh, the small okay. shops. I know. <laughs> yeah, little short people. Only <laughs> short people <laughs> shop, you do not have to worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> we are being discriminatory. <laughs> <laughs> no tall people allowed. Second. Well, second. The second. The second. And then Sunday is Sunday fun day. And now uh, we are being discriminatory then. We do have an age limit on that, I guess, unless we're in our second childhood, um, for all the children in the community and outside. The, each of the stores is having an act in the grill, having an activity uh, for children. They're open for the for shopping too, but each what of the stores. Um, one, to six, one to five. N one yeah, to noon to five. five. N noon to five. On Sunday. Both days are busy. So, where is this been advertised? All over. 
social media, social media, Facebook. Well, she don't look at Facebook. Well, it's been I'm on. We have. Facebook. It's been on the tax. It's been on our, our and city tax. I think it was in my November report. Yeah, I've seen it. Yeah. November. It wasn't a November report. It wasn't a November report. <laughs> We'll send out a we'll send out, out more text about it too. Do we still have the time? Well, I only say that for one. We do. We do. You're right. But that's a that good for, question. For one reason, we do not have a paper. Right. And I would just. Well, Donna has. We had a paper coming out. Donna had, didn't come out in November. Uh, we have our. Uh, <coughs> uh, uh, Art of Living in Mount Pleasant. Do you not get that? Yeah, I get that, but I want to. I want to. Like you said, no, we're not going to get a daily. That they don't make any money in there, probably. But even I don't want to, you know, a big time paper. But I would like at least to have a Cindy retired. Yeah, a semi. She came up yeah. here and said we had no more news for her. <laughs> that was her announcement. <laughs> she did. She, I, I like did she one. not come in here and say that? Of course, I spoke the days of Billy Ray when he was here. Yeah. And we had business. But we could get just like a have a couple of weeks or even a monthly. It would be so advantageous for this town. I um, I had an idea of actually, uh, we talked about it on my board one time, but you know I have a hard time getting information out sometimes too. It's kind of frustrating when you kind of have stuff going on. But one thing I'm looking in for next year is also um, getting with the Mount Pleasant Power Systems, and they send a bill out every month. Mm -hmm. So we can actually put a card in there that would have the monthly activities for the following month on there. Just to be able to advertise when we have music on the square or when the teen center is open or if it's a Friday night or anything like that's going on because um, it, it's, you know, it, it is difficult because you don't have a paper around here that's, you know, like every week or whatever to be able to get stuff out. The other thing is we've also discussed before, the, uh, I think it would be a great idea if we look at investing in it, is putting a, uh, a sign somewhere like at the center. For instance, you get a lot of traffic that comes through there that flashes, not really flashes, but has a scrolling type thing through, and you can put what's going on um, in the community for advertising. We We've talked about it several times. We have used theirs. We have used it. We have used it. Yeah, and I've used theirs quite a few times too, and that actually helps me out when I put their, my stuff on there because it's right on the main drag. Our parade is the, the, the ninth. Second, second, the second, I'm sorry, the second. Santa, the Santa's trolley is the nine. Mayor, you need to learn how to tweet. Yeah. Yeah. And you need to learn how to tweet. Yes, please don't. You know, Twitter? Please don't. <laughs> we have enough trouble with tweets. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the other thing, too, is if you will remember, um, they're doing still the fundraising for Willie Baker and the, 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 uh, the Civitan is doing the, uh, the uh, Aramine, Ar the, uh, Aramine, the Aramine Park, the Aramine Park, not Aramine Park. Aramine Park. Yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. It was on my mind about that burning the lake. All right. What else do we need? <laughs> I'm trying, to, I'm trying to get off. I'm trying to be your newspaper. Will you listen? <laughs> uh, anyway. Okay. Okay. I make a motion to adjourn. <laughs> motion to make to adjourn. Second, please. Happy turkey. There you go. And Jackie, can I see you back? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Happy Thanksgiving to everyone. Thank you. You too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank